Hi friends, it's Sam, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my vegan sunflower seed cheese. Now, if you are new to the world of making your own homemade vegan cheeses, don't worry because this recipe is super duper easy. It's just nine ingredients, trying to keep my thinking, <laughs> and takes only 20 minutes to make. So it's really quick and easy. The ingredients are really easy to find at most grocery stores, so you should have no problem whipping this up. Now, one thing I really love about this recipe is that it is completely nut free. A lot of homemade vegan cheese and a lot of store-bought ones for that matter, contain nuts, often cashews, but sometimes other nuts. And if you have a nut allergy, that can be kind of a bummer because you can't eat them. So this recipe is made with sunflower seeds, so completely nut allergy friendly, and that also means it's school safe. So if you want to bring this cheese to school as a little snack on a sandwich, wherever you want, you can do that. It's totally school friendly. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sam, and this is the place where I share my fuss-free vegan recipes. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this recipe because there's always a lot more coming. <laughs> and if you have been here for a while and you're, you're a fan of my channel, thank you. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for spending the day with me. This is lovely. <laughs> okay, so let's get to making my vegan sunflower seed cheese. So to a medium saucepan, add your raw sunflower seeds. Now these are raw sunflower seeds. There's nothing on them. There's no salt. They're not roasted. You just want them to be plain and bland as can be. So this is two cups of raw sunflower seeds. Now cover the sunflower seeds with water, bring them to a boil on the stove, and let them boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. What that's gonna do is it's gonna soften the sunflower seeds a little bit so they'll be easier to blend, easier to get a bit of a creamier texture. Then I just drained them and rinsed them really well with cold water. So now I've got my food processor and we're gonna finish making this cheese. This part is super quick and easy. Pop your sunflower seeds into the food processor. Press this there, I don't know how I said it like that. <laughs> processor, get in there. So first up is a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Now, nutritional yeast has the worst name ever, but it has a really kind of cheesy flavor. So this is what's gonna kind of give most of that, that cheesy tang to this sunflower cheese. Then we're also gonna add a quarter cup of refined coconut oil. Now you wanna make sure that this is refined coconut oil and not unrefined. So it won't add any kind of coconut taste, but coconut oil is really important in this recipe. It's what helps firm up the cheese. Oop. Splatted myself with coconut oil. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> Next up, a quarter cup of lemon juice. This is freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is gonna add a nice tang to that cheese. Delish. And now I've got four teaspoons of white miso paste. Miso paste is gonna add a kind of an aged fermented taste. So instead of taking the time to age your cheese yourself, this just gets that instant flavor in there right away without any time wasted. Delish, it's smelling great already. I just love a good cooking smell. So now for the spices, I have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Sprinkle that in. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. Half a teaspoon of salt. You can add a little bit more to taste later on if you want. Up to you. That's what works for me. And half a teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric is really just going to add color. So this is a bright yellow and with the red of the paprika, we're going to get a gorgeous orangey color. So yeah, get in there. So now I'm just gonna blend this up till it's completely smooth. Stop every few minutes to scrape the sides. Make sure it gets all incorporated and blended really well. So I think this is probably as blended as it's gonna get. It's never gonna get quite as creamy as a cashew cheese will, but it'll get pretty creamy, so. I love the color, I love the texture. Now all we have to do is place it into the molds. I like to use these two little springform pans. I'll link them down below where you can grab them if you like, but really you can use any dish, any like Tupperware container, whatever you like. So I'm gonna take these two little things and uh, line them with some plastic wrap. I'm actually trying to get away from using so much plastic, but I ran out of parchment today, so. Anyway, I already had it. I haven't bought, didn't buy it new for this. So once it's gone, it'll be gone now. So now all I have to do is fill up these molds. So scoop your sunflower seed cheese straight into the mold like that. Beautiful. So there is my vegan sunflower seed cheese. I'm just gonna take the plastic wrap 
and wrap it over top or you could put like a plate or any kind of little lid thing you want and I'll repeat with the other one. So I'll pop these in the fridge and I'll see you in about four hours where we'll give them a taste test. But not four hours your time, four hours my time. It'll be like, you know, there you go. My cheese has been chilled for four hours. Now let me go get it from the fridge and we're gonna unwrap it and give it a taste test. Here it is, nice and firm to touch. I'm just gonna pop it out of this little tray. I actually cheated a little bit and put mine in the freezer because I didn't want to have to wait four hours. So there's a hack for you if you want. Okay, let's plop it on my plate here and unwrap it. Ooh, gorgeous, look at that cheese. Isn't that so cool? I made this homemade block of vegan cheese. How easy was that too? Let's give it a taste. If there's more cheese than there is cracker, just the way it should be. Mm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. That is so good. That cheese is like creamy and kind of got a cheddar -y vibe to it. It's got a tang. It's got that aged taste from the miso. A little bit of that smoke just a teeny hint. Really, really good snacking cheese. Delicious. If you let it warm up a little bit more, It'd be perfect for spreading on a sandwich or you can use it like this and crumble it on a salad but honestly i always just snack with it with some crackers and a little olives on the side some pickles you know delish a little vegan snack for it i love it <laughs> as always i'll put a link to the full recipe down below in the description so you can check that out if you like if you give this recipe a try let me know what you think i hope you love it leave a comment down below i hope you get excited i hope you want to make it i hope you enjoy it as much as i do i make this one all the time it's a crowd pleaser <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss another fuss free vegan video with me and i will see you next time bon appetit <laughs>